an edge on the ingredient front and where sometimes the high-end product ounce for ounce is cheaper than the drugstore product. So if you are interested in finding some really good dupes slash debunking some dupes that aren't very good, then just keep on watching. First up, we have the Rare Beauty Blush. I have mine in the shade Joy. I'm gonna go in on the right side of my face. I'm gonna put two little dots right there. Just use one of my favorite foundation brushes to blend it out. Super pigmented, I probably could have gone with one dot. I'm gonna take the foundation brush I just used that has foundation on it and kind of blend these edges ever so slightly as this has some serious pigment. But I really love this color. And I'm just gonna bring it up towards my temple just a little bit to meet with the bronzer that I have on. So this retails for $23 and it comes with 0.25 ounces. It comes in both satin and matte finishes, so you have options there. This has been duped and duped and duped again. I have yet to find one that I really think is a dupe, but I had to compare it to the new Juvia's Place blushes because all I've heard is how pigmented these are. So I've actually never tried this. I'm gonna be trying it for the first time and I got the shade Soft Tulip. It looks like a really pretty shade, but a little bit different, um, so it's not a shade match here. But this one is not that much cheaper. This is $18 and it comes with 0.27, so not too much more product and only a $5 price difference. I'm gonna put this on this side of my face. Oh yeah, that is super pigmented as well. And this color is really pretty. I'm on the fence about what I think about super pigmented blushes. I think it's a good use of product because you only need a tiny bit. I also think, you know, it's not as user friendly as more sheer blushes that you can easily build up. I have to say, I really, really like this color and it blended out just like the Rare Beauty one. So this is definitely the closest dupe that I have tried. In looking at the ingredients, the first two ingredients are the exact same, which are two of the most used ingredients in the product. And there's a lot of similarities overall in the ingredients list. As far as superstar ingredients, Rare Beauty has sunflower seed oil and then Juvia's Place has vitamin E. So out of all of the Rare Beauty dupes I've ever tried, this one's the best. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup and I'll be back with two different brow dupes to try. Right, first up, we have Boy Brow. This is by Glossier. For those of you that don't know, Glossier is now in Sephora. It's a lot more easy to access and it's more of like a mid-tier price range. It's not gonna be at like Dior or Anastasia prices, but it's not drugstore prices. So this is the Boy Brow in the shade, this is the shade Brown. This is $17, it comes with 0.11 ounces and it comes in five different colors. Granted, one of those colors is clear, so like, does that count? I'm gonna put this on this side, I actually really like this color. I was choosing it in Sephora. This seems like a really great match for me. To not darken my brows too much, but give them more definition. It's got a nice small applicator. It makes it really easy not to get it everywhere. And I feel like as I'm kind of layering it on, my very stubborn brows are starting to stick in place. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. You can see my brow hair naturally has some sparse areas and it grows down. So it's hard for me to find a brow product that will lift as much as this one just did. And again, color match is really great. But of course we have to compare it to this $5 e.l.f. Wow Brow. Just looking at them side by side, this looks to be meant to be a dupe. Whether on purpose or by accident, kind of recreated the exact same packaging. And as opposed to $17, this is only $5. This comes in four colors, but again, one of the five colors with the Glossier is clear. So it's not that it has a wider shade range. I already know this is one of my all-time favorite brow products. I think what differentiates it is the little fibers that it adds. I feel like it builds volume a little bit faster. This one I've had for a while, so it's kind of dried up and it's still working just as well. Yeah, I feel like performance-wise, this is as close to a perfect dupe as you can get. However, I did learn something new as I was going through the ingredients. ELF has vitamin E and something called kaolin clay, if I'm saying that correctly. Glossier has beeswax, it has oleic acid, which is like a derivative of olive oil to nourish, and it has soluble collagen to condition your hair fibers. So I would say that this one does have better kind of superstar ingredients, it has more of them. 
And the other thing is that this second ingredient on e.l.f. Wow Brow is alcohol. So if you have very sensitive eyes, a very sensitive eye region, just keep that in mind that the second ingredient is alcohol. And this one is alcohol free. So again, performance wise, it's like I'm using the same product, but when you really break it down from an ingredient perspective, this one is a little bit better. Uh, my next comparison was gonna be the Anastasia Brow Pen to the NYX Epic Ink Brow Pen, but I just realized I picked up the brow pencil instead of the pen, so I'm gonna have to revisit this one. Take this back to Sephora and come back. All right, next up we have the Bobbi Brown, what are these called? Long Wear Cream Eyeshadow Sticks. This is in the shade Golden Bronze. It's just like a twist up creamy eyeshadow you can just kind of throw on and then you just want to take a eyeshadow brush and blend out those edges before it sets down because once it sets down it's not moving so these retail for $32 for one eyeshadow for 0.5 ounces also going to take this under my eye but let's compare it to a newer product by Milani that has again the exact same packaging. These look like the same product. This is Bobbi Brown. This is Milani. Milani retails for $10.99 for 0 0.05 ounces. Now I don't have a shade match here, so we're just going to go off of formula. If this color is like speaking to you, then you know that would be a reason to go Bobbi Brown, but Milani comes with a lot of really pretty colors. Speaking of, there's another color here. The one I just put on is Desert. This one's called Sand. I'm going to kind of layer this on top, see if we can get these colors just like a tad closer. All right, and then I'm gonna use a different eyeshadow brush and blend these out. I will say the Milani one blends out a little bit faster. I feel like this one was harder to move even right when I put it on. All right, and then I'm gonna take that sand color under my eye. All right, and in looking at the ingredients for these two products, it was very comparable. There wasn't a ton of overlap. There's nothing crazy amazing about the Bobbi Brown ones, no superstar ingredients that made me be like, okay, that's kind of worth it, like I felt with the Glossier. They're both long wear, they're both waterproof. They both have a, a waxy base that gives them that malleable texture, but the ingredients are pretty different. All right, I'm gonna put some mascara on and be back with the last one. All right, next up we have the Makeup by Mario Lip Liner. This retails for $24. Uh, one thing I do wanna point out is that it comes with a pencil sharpener, which definitely adds to the value of it. This has a brush on one side to kind of blend out the lip liner, and then it's got the pencil style lip liner on the other. This is the first time I'm using this one. I'm gonna overline just a little bit, and this is the perfect color for me because it kind of just looks like my lips, but better. So you can really make your lips look fuller with a lot of the colors in the range because they are so flesh toned. It's really creamy and just glides right on. All right, and I went out and bought this after trying this new hard candy lip liner because I was like, this packaging reminds me so much of the Make by Mario. So that's kind of what prompted this video. But this is the hard candy Insta Pout lip liner in the shade Perfect Match. And again, this is a perfect match for me and a very similar color to Dimitri. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on this side, almost an exact color match actually. The difference here, this one does not come with a sharpener because it's retractable. This one feels slightly creamier, which sort of makes me think the Makeup by Mario one's gonna be a little bit more long lasting. But I'm gonna use first the Makeup by Mario brush to just blend. And now I'm gonna compare that to the one on the hard candy. I would say the Makeup by Mario brush feels a little bit more high quality. This one feels very synthetic. They both do the job very well. All right, and then last but not least, we have the Laneige Lip Mask, which I am almost out of. You can see it's a well-loved lip mask. This retails for $24. It does come with 0.7 ounces of product very hydrating. I sleep in this, but it also works like for a gym lip, something like that. This has glycerin, antioxidants, vitamin C, lots of good stuff, but it does have a fragrance if that bothers you. And then I'm going to be comparing it to the Catrice Lip Lovin Overnight Sleeping Mask. I've tried this a few times and I really do like how this feels. This has vitamin E. It also has palmitoyl tripeptide, which is one of the gold standards in the peptide world. As far as look and feel, very, very similar here. 
They both feel really hydrating. They both look really hydrating and they last about the same amount of time on the lips. I've worn both of them overnight. The Catrice retails for $6 and Laneige, like I said, 24, which on its surface sounds amazing, but this comes with a fifth of the amount of product that the Laneige one does. So ounce for ounce, this one's more expensive. I feel like this is a really hard product to do because even though it seems expensive at $24, you're getting a ton of product. So it's actually very affordable per ounce. Because I like both of them and the ingredients in this one are slightly better and it's more affordable, this is a case where I think the high end beats the dupe not only in terms of quality but also price point. All right, and that is everything. I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and then I will check in at the end of the day and let you know if my opinion changes at all based off of wear time. Y'all are gonna laugh at me, I hurt my neck so I'm wearing this like heated neck pad but <laughs> Um, the only things of note are that I feel like the Glossier side looks better than the e.l.f. side in terms of my brows. Juvia's Place looks a little bit better than the Rare Beauty and eyeshadow still looks great. Um, lip liner faded on both sides. All right, and that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.